thank you guys for spending some time to walk through this learning cluster design with me. So one of the things we did want to share first is the need for this particular training or the need for this look to the design. And it's really about how we focus with our customers. So our sales associates delivering the right behaviors, um, the right techniques and interactions to build trust in the relationship. And so we want to be better at what we do today. So there's always been this request of like, how do we increase our our um, engagement scores, our satisfaction scores, and our conversions. So we wanted to first look at the overall actual change. And so we said by improving the sales behaviors and the interactions provided by our sales team to our customer, the business will benefit from increased sales conversion ratios, improved first impression satisfaction scores, and higher scores on our mystery shops. And the changes to the on-the-job on the job behavior would be things of providing a positive initial greeting that brings excitement to the customer for an upcoming visit and to build a relationship that really establishes rapport. And of course, promoting an engaging discovery conversation that promotes the right questions and thoughts to identify that customer or prospect's needs for an apartment home and what they're looking for. And then offering a great tour that connects the prospect to their wish list and must-haves for what they really want and then asking them to apply for the home and being confident inside of that. So as we started going through our learning personas, we really wanted to figure out who are the people that we want to approach because we have a lot of different personalities that are out there in sales. Uh, so we broke it down to really three main sales associates. We said there's new to sales Susan, who comes into the business and she's kind of new. She doesn't know what to do. So she's trying to figure out how does she connect um, what she needs to do according to the training she receives and to the others around them. We also realized that we have, <clears throat> excuse me, my way, Maggie. And Maggie is a long-term salesperson who's been around the industry and she thinks and she feels that the way she approaches the sales is totally fine and she doesn't want to change. And then we also have Downing Thomas. And Thomas is the type of person who joined the company, has not really embraced any of the behaviors or the interactions we're asking him to do but has seemed to be okay because his manager doesn't really support um, coaching him and developing him. So as we looked at this, we also realized there's a whole nother set of personas we need to identify. And that's really our management team. And because we have different personas in there and they are the leaders of the sales process. So we have sophisticated Sarun who really is that high energy, high level, um, very quick, uh, community manager does all the fundamentals and gets to it, but he's always on the go. And then we have cheerleader Carrie, who's very like interactive with her team, but is not always comfortable in coaching her team because she's afraid of holding them accountable because she likes to have positive vibes within the team. So as we started to go through the whole monitor score, we realized there's a lot of potential to do more than what we're doing today. So we started with a score of three. And then we ended up with a score of 7.5 because one of them was like, uh, it could help a little bit, but not totally. We also realized inside of this that we need to make our training content more accessible. We also need to make it autonomous so people can go in and take it when they need to take it too. And also we should chunk out the sales strategy and the sales journey that we have for the associates. So they're not trying to soak everything in at once. And then we also realize that there's stuff that they need for them and also to make it more social so they can interact more. As we drove that down, we said, well, what is the content we have today that we need to modernize? Meaning we have it, but we need to update it. So we talked about a sales toolkit on our intranet to really take all the job aids, the handouts, you know, the videos that we have that we're going to end up putting together and giving it a one-stop shop for the associate to be able to dive in to each part of the sales strategy. Also chunking our videos and then doing some uh, roundtables with top sales people for focus training. And then for our new assets to develop new tools and also create a discussion board. So that gave us the opportunity in our surround to really dive in and build out a whole bunch of different items, as you can see, that are related to the formal training and then also for immediate training, but not just for our associates, but also for our managers around CM sales training and coaching to make sure they're ready. Also building out focus points for daily huddles. Uh, we also found that using this tool was a great way to tie things together. 
So whether it's the discussion boards, et cetera, to start matching up personas. And then we took those personas for each person and matched them up into a complete list. From there, we did lay out our terminals and enablement objectives for each one of those particular items, which gave us an opportunity to say, this is the why behind the what. And then that's two pages of fun on that one. And then last but not least, we did want to go back and track that by looking at the sales conversion ratios. What are we expecting today? What is that goal? Our uh, first impression scores, our mystery shop results, and even our level one and level three surveys that we send out to get manager feedback along with associate feedback. So that is the overall presentation that I have to share today. And thank you guys for your time.